Hello and welcome to part two of my order packing. These are just very chatty videos. That's why I call them the pack and chat. I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and I just had my release last week. So I'm packing orders this week and we're just gonna get right back into it. So this order is going to Wyoming, which let me tell you, I'm excited about it. I just love sending my products just everywhere. It's just so much fun. But when I have a, like a personal connection to a place, which is a whole state in this, in this case, I just love it. So this is a figgy cream and this is a first time customer. And oh my goodness, you're going to love figgy cream. At least I hope you do. It is a favorite. We have leather and lace, which I need to go get a little baggie. I try not to be too repetitive in part two, so you might want to go back to part one to watch, but I put these in a bag just because the leather scent is so strong that it will attempt to infiltrate its surroundings. So we have a figgy cream, have a fresh linen, and a desert flower. Yay! So my connection to Wyoming is that's actually where I was born. And um, my grandpa and my great grandpa had a ranch. They homesteaded a place in JM, Wyoming. Just a, it's still a bump in the road. I mean, you blink and you'll miss it, but it's an awesome place. I love it, love it so much. We no longer have the family ranch. That was very heartbreaking, but they raised Hereford cattle and I just, Wyoming is just a special place. We have um, unicorn sweet treats, wax milk. We're back with this release. Nice. Okay. I'm going to cover those up just a little bit. And I have been asked why I actually do that, not just like um, face them together. Well, if I face them together, the two open windows are together and the scents might mingle a little bit too much. If I put them face down, it comes sometimes can be a bit bumpy and I just don't want it to um, mess with that soap at all. But I do sometimes put them down or face together just depending on the situation. So usually if you've thought it, I've already thought it and I have a reason for it and I just may not say it on the video. I find we have a, this is a clarity butterfly soap. I find what happens a lot is we as creators, we have a lot going through our minds and there's certain ways that we do things and basically we would have to stop and write a whole document explaining why we do or don't do something and we just don't have that time, you know, in the videos to necessarily go over that. So anyway. And then we have a Vitality Butterfly. Okay, so I took a little break there and I've now added the shred. I'm going to put in an iced eucalyptus soap sample. And let's put in something wax multi. Let's do... I have some confetti cake marshmallow little donuts I made with some extra. So... We'll put that in the invoice. I haven't been using as many of this these uh, cube boxes with this release. I got a larger amount of smaller orders, which is still cool and fine by me. I like all orders, big and small. And so I haven't used very many. They're usually my my main box that I grab. Um, but my husband, he, he, uh, put together like a whole like, bunch worth of them. <laughs> Most of them are still there, but that's okay. I might get into them in the days to come. I plan to be packing orders all week long. I hope I can get caught up by the weekend again. It's Monday now. So we have another package here going to Illinois and I have just one of these super cute 
little boxes. It would be embarrassing if you saw how long it took me trying to figure out how to get this box together. It's a little bit different than some of the others that I've had. So I'm going to take just this little piece of paper and slide it in like so. And then into this one we have the figgy cream clamshell and a wild berry chamomile clamshell. Put just a little bit of shred on either side. Let's see, we still need to get a wax melt in there though. Hmm. I want something that's just going to fit in here on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a unicorn sweet treats. I had this little unicorn head mold and so I poured a little um, extra into that. So that's just gonna fit right there. I'll have to hold everybody together, get it all tucked in. So this customer also watches my videos. It's just so much fun, you know, made just so many connections. Now, this usually fits better than this. I must not have cut it exactly evenly. We'll make it work. This has been awesome, all the connections that I've made through the years. And you know, a lot of my customers have become friends. Um, several have been very close friends. Um, another friend, I mean, kind of one of those last but not least situations. Um, I have soap making friends via YouTube and just groups that I've been in. See, this has to just has to slide on the inside, and that's kind of a kind of a pain when everything's in there. Nug is a bug in a rug. But I have soap making friends. They're just really close personal friends now. And so it's just you know this has opened up a world. And anyway, so I wanted to show you something that has come about from this whole process. So just the other day, I received this surprise package. Look how cute. This is Maverick, and it is a gourd from Gording Around. Um, my new puppy is Maverick and he's a little mini Aussie and my customer Jill who is also a good friend of mine had a little Australian Shepherd growing up and this was a working you know real sheep herding dog and his name was Bunchy and she loves to see my pictures of Maverick because it just reminds her of Bunchy and so my one wonderful customer that has become a friend had my other wonderful friend, customer, Jody with Gording Around, make this little maverick for me. And then he's so cute. So we have a wubba and it has sparkles. So we have a wubba there. And looky here, we have rainbow soap with my logo on it. Isn't that just so cool? These are the things that just touch my heart. And I, I've done a lot of contemplating recently and I'm really in this because of, it's a heart thing. I could, mass produce and I really upped my batches um, not last year but the year before and I realized that I didn't love it and I am a firm believer that the mood that I'm in when I'm making a product just kind of it affects the whole thing so if I'm in a really foul mood I try not to make anything because I know that it will not come out right and so it's just very much a heart thing for me. It's not so much a manufacturing thing at this point still. You know, down the road it may change if I have more room and more hands and everything, but I just really like this, this close, you know, heart to heart. Um, we're connecting via YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and I don't know, that's just what it is for me. It's a heart thing and I just, I want to keep on like this, meeting amazing people that just really touch your heart. You know, just amazing people. So Jody, who made um, my gourd, my Maverick there, 
she has been a friend for quite some time and it started when she sent me this gourd. See, these are made out of gourds. Look at those polka dots. Are they not the cutest thing? I just love it. There's so many details. I remember the moment I got this and I was in the basement where I worked my studio in Belton, Missouri. Look, see, there's even a, a rainbow soap there. And there's my old logo with the owl. And Jody had just sent this to me. Well, unfortunately, I don't really know where I was. All of a sudden, my dog started barking and someone was here and it was a minivan. Minivan? And we didn't even know who it was. And they were trying to get the packages that the mail lady decided not to take this morning. Very confusing. Um, anyway, so... I had this cute little uh, gourd from Jody, and these are just some that I have upstairs I thought I would show you. So I have this cute little ladybug one. Isn't it awesome? I love it. And I have this, um, they're a little dusty, admittedly. I probably should have uh, dusted them first. Um, but we have this cute little bee cupcake. This is my favorite. I love gnomes and isn't he so cute this was a fall one obviously and then i had this happy fall one just sitting up here also so i have a whole bunch probably wow i wonder if i wonder if i even have like a hundred of them at this point i have a lot of gourds from jody so i'll put her information down below and you can check her out so i want to say thank you to jill and thank you to jody for my wonderful little maverick surprise so this one is headed to Ohio, and this is a new customer that watches my video, so hello to you also. I just love it. We have a leather and lace, that's why I'm putting it into the little baggie here. We have a calendula carrot double milk soap. We have a figgy cream, totally an amazing classic soap to purchase the first time and the leather and lace. So let's see. Oh yes, we've got we've got some good ones down in here that I've been missing. We have a luscious lemon. I think that would be a really good one to send. Now, I did have somebody say that um, they don't like verbena scent so much, but they would love a lemon scent. So I'm on the lookout. That's on my agenda for you to come up with lemon that's not a cleaner, obviously, um, but it's not necessarily bakery. Just trying to find a just a lemon lemon. The problem with lemon is that it can fade in cold processed soap. That's why I use my verbena one because it's a sticker. So even using like lemon essential oil and some citruses, sometimes they have to be anchored. And by anchored, that means just a blend, you know, putting them, say mixing patchouli with orange or um, adding some lemongrass to some lemon, you know, something like that. That's sometimes what we have to do to make it stick. So lemon can be a hard one, so I've been reading reviews and my friend in Washington has been sniffing her collection and reporting back like that's what we do on the weekends you know we sit there and talk about soap making and um and uh we work together see what we can figure out and that's something about the soap making community they're very you know we're all very helpful and a little bit more open I would think than most competitors are I don't know either way we tend to be a fairly open community and a lot of our best friends do tend to be other soap makers they just get us you know we get each other this order is headed out to Hawaii again hello ladies we just have some amazing customers that order with almost every release and I love it. We have a triple milk unscented soap. I can't tell if this is focused or not. It's like my screen is kind of a little little. We tried to set up um, an iPad and oh, it just didn't work. I kept falling asleep. So luscious lemon 
And we have a desert flower, a cool cucumber sea salt soap, This one is such a favorite of mine. I love this soap so much. Like, I love them all, but this one is just my favorite at the moment. It's over the moon, and it's a mixture of lavender and musk, but it's very much like a Huggies, you know, baby shampoo. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I am going to be making more of that, and if nobody else buys it, I'm just gonna use it all myself. I have a wild berry chamomile. And we've got a Tranquility Butterfly and a Serenity Butterfly. This one is so good. I have it at my um, kitchen sink downstairs. And everybody keeps saying, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And even my kids are like, is this supposed to be lilac? It smells so good. It's not a straight lilac, but it is so amazing. I'm going to have to remake that in something someday. I'm having to be very strategic in my in my planning. So I haven't been able to make my brambleberry order quite yet, but I will before too long. That's going to be so good to have more of that fragrance. We had quite the storm come through this morning. It wasn't even that like wild and crazy and scary or anything, but we ended up with um, some big hail. And our roof already seems to be damaged this year from the storms that have come through. So that probably sealed the deal on that situation. I don't want to have a, to deal with a new roof, but if we do, I'm hoping to put some skylights in up here because it's kind of dark and I could use I could use the natural light for sure. So let's see, that was all soap. This customer used the buy uh, nine get one free discount code. So let's look around. Let's do a creme of cacao unscented. And there's a lot going on in here. Let's Let's dig down, see what's down here. More figgy cream. A whole bunch of figgy cream right there. Did we order desert flower? Yes, desert flower is in there. What are you? Luscious lemon. There's a whole bunch of luscious lemon. What's under here? Over the moon. We've got that already. Let's do... I guess let's do an iced eucalyptus. Huh, let's do a fresh linen. We'll go with that. Okay, so now I've got to put these back somewhat. So I love to give out samples. So these are all really nice sized samples. Some of them can even be a third of a bar. And um, this is just my gift to you for ordering. You can try out, you know, new scents that way and such. Um, put it in a travel bag should you ever travel again um, you know stuff like that I just want you to have a little extra special gift from ordering now a lot of soap makers will take these and bundle them up into samplers so that's why I don't really have samplers because I have to make specific soaps for samplers or cut into my regular bars these are just in pieces um, if you see any of my cutting videos, you'll probably see that I always have some extra big chunks that I specifically cut up to do samples. So to make sampler sets that would really be that I could have enough for you is what I'm trying to say. I'd really have to make actual batches to specifically provide a sampler set for you. Always on the agenda. I just... A lot of times I don't have the time to accomplish that. So the samplers can be very tedious and I will ask my people 
said, should we do some samplers of some sort? And they're like, well, no, I would like to not have to deal with those. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of the status right now. I know that you guys would love samplers and it's a great idea. It's just something that I haven't accomplished because it's an extra job, an extra rather tedious job. So should I ever get an idea that comes to me that makes it work really, really well, I'm going to jump all over it. So I want you guys to be able to sample more things. But the point is, is that I do send some samples with every order. And you can request it if I have it, like if it's part of that release, you can ask for a sample and I will almost always make sure I put that one in. This order is headed to Washington State. We have a strawberry clamshell and we have a watermelon sorbet. Now this one, I didn't quite get the color I was going for. Um, so it's a little mauve this time, but we'll go for more of a, a reddish pink next time. Ooh, we have a theme on colors here. We have wild berry chamomile and a cherry dippity donut. I just love that name, cherry dippity, cherry dippity. So I think I was saying that we had, had a storm this morning. We got some hail. And we haven't really had big hail at this place. I've never really seen big hail. I mean, I know it happens all around me, but we just never had it specifically at our house or that I've seen really. So I'm going to put in all these huckleberry because she seems to like berries. So definitely should go in with a bear. Maybe we should, maybe we should put him in upside down so that he could be more protected. And I do still have some of these bramble berry samples, so I'm going to tuck in one of those. Anyway, so we got this pretty good hail, and we are under tornado watch. You know, I follow Reed Timmer, one of my favorite shows ages ago was Storm Chasers and I love Twister too, the movie. Oh my goodness, I love Twister. Anyway, one of my favorite shows was this Storm Chasers and Reed Timmer, he's an extreme meteorologist and he's almost always right. And so today he has put us basically in the target zone. He is going to chase in southeastern Kansas. We're in southwest Missouri. But either way, when Reed Timmer says that he's coming to your area or your area needs to perk up and pay attention. I pay attention. So we need to make sure we're prepared for tornadoes tonight. Anyway, this storm that came through this morning, um, we thought, well, maybe it would um, kind of stabilize the atmosphere. It brought in a cool front, so it's actually quite cool. It's not really that humid or anything outside, but uh, supposedly the, the line that are coming in tonight are going to kind of make this morning's storm kind of be like a little tea party. So we have to pay attention. So I'm putting together a regional rate A for this order. I'm hoping that it'll work. If not, I'll have to move up to a medium. The regional A's a lot of times will work at a lower cost, but if I need to upgrade, going to a regional B sometimes can be way more expensive than just going with a medium flat rate. So I've already checked that. If I can't get it into here, I'm gonna have to put a medium flat rate together. So here's the paper that we all love. It's so much fun. Love it. And I do have links down below for where you can get this paper. So after I finish with this order, it's almost 5 o'clock. I'm going to be done for the day and go downstairs and make sure that we're all prepared in case we have a tornado. We don't specifically have a tornado shelter, so I would like to get one. Is it something we 
haven't spent the money on, but we really should. So far we've had some not so horrible years, but um, this year it seems to be amping up, but it's kind of a little too late for this year. So into this order we have the cool cucumber salt soap. And we have an iced eucalyptus and a figgy cream. Let's see what else. That's it for the soaps that are packaged like that. Put that there for now. We have a figgy cream and a eucalyptus spearmint. That's what the name was before was eucalyptus spearmint. So these are still labeled as such. And then, let's see, we have all the butterfly soaps and some wax melts. Let's lay some things down flat here for a moment. So we have the Tranquility Butterfly. We have the Clarity Butterfly. That one's very much um, kind of a garden scent. All of the, the making of the butterfly soaps are on my channel. We have Vitality. Let's see, I don't... Hmm. Trying to make sure it goes in, but that everything's nice and safe and not squashed. This one has a pretty flat bottom, so I'm just going to set it down like so. Our house was actually hit by a tornado. Oh, it was 2006. We did not own the place. We've only been here for almost four years. And they had to, it was just being built at the time, so they actually had to... Um, Rebrick re it. That's a brick house. They had to rebrick the whole house. They actually changed colors on the the rebricking. So there's they buried the brick from the original house. So our shop, if um, like the cows are walking over next to the shop, it's all brick that just keeps coming up. So apparently they buried all the brick that came off of this house and built the shop on it. I don't know if that's a standard practice. Seems weird. Um, so anyway, yeah, our house is a different color. And some of our trees um, are broken at the top. So we can see where it hit. It did apparently take out quite a bit of the trees here. We do have a majestic walnut out front. He was not bothered by it. He was a beautiful tree. Love it so much. Okay, I'm going to try to get all these in still. Let's do a face down, face up on French. That's French Quarter Bakery. I will have that one back. Everything just smells so good. Oh my goodness. So this one is Cherry Dippity Donut. We have the Lemon Cake one. So pretty. I'm feeling concerned. Let's do the peach cream there. Oh, we're okay. Okay. We're good. However, I think I'm going to... There's a little bit more room here, so I think I'll do that. Since these ones have the sprinkles and such on it. Okay. That worked. Alright, so... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do have some of these confetti cake marshmallow ones, so I guess I'll put those in. These are normally macaron shaped. We'll do that. And what kind of soap should I put in there? Let's do a desert flower. I think that would be a good one. So we'll put that in there. I've not been writing down my samples. I try to keep a log of who I send samples to. Um, in case I ever need to contact anybody concerning the samples. Um, that's happened a time or two where I've forgotten an ingredient so I, I can contact those people. I need to put it in a like an Excel so that I can... I'm not always next to my computer though is the problem. But I really should put it in like an Excel where I can um, 
review it so I don't send them the same but I always kind of figure that if you've gotten it before that you can make it a sample soap or give it to a friend or something so they're saying that the setup for this one this storm tonight is similar to 2006 the year we had the tornadoes come through here our neighbors several of our neighbors had to completely rebuild so yes so I'm slightly, uh, slightly nervous about the situation, but I've always been taken care of, so I'll try to hold back the, the fear and just be prepared the best I can for today. Always, I'm like, my, cause my soap, my soap studio is clear up in the attic. I'm like, don't take the soap. You remember, you remember that song? It was kind of twangy. It, I kind of cringe a little bit when I hear it now, but the Tim McGraw one from eons and ages ago, Don't Take the Girl. I'm like, don't take the soap. I'll gather some of my valuables and take it down with me, and it should all be totally fine. I'm sure it's all going to be fine. Okay, so there we have it. This was part two of the packing videos, the pack and chat for, I don't know, it's, I guess we call it May, even though we're going to have the next ones are still going to be in May. I don't know. Either way, thanks for watching. If you've stuck with me to the end, I appreciate you so very much. Thank you everyone that ordered and has blessed my family with that little bit of security. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.